Hello, welcome to the Real Estate Regroup Show. I am your host, LJ Walker, a real estate investor helping you realize your dreams of owning a home or investing in one. Today's show, I'm going to talk about fear. See, I was really afraid of making mistakes. I did not really have anyone to encourage me or to guide me. And many people, even today, believe it or not, they still doubt me, even though I've been doing what I've been doing for 20 years. When I say that I'm a landlord, I'm a lean lord, there are people who, believe it or not, they still turn their lips up at me. What I want to say to you is you can't let other people's opinions control your abilities, destiny, and try not to let it shake your confidence. What you can do is, or let me say what I did with my fear, is I used it to study and I used it to implement a lot of things to try to prevent certain disasters, if you will. I did a lot, I set up a lot of what if then. I also tried to learn from other people's mistakes. That's one of the reasons why I joined a mastermind group. And even like, let's say, some of the home ownership classes that I used to take back in the day, I would speak after class to not just the teacher, but to other homeowners or people who were about to be homeowners to see what they've been through and learn from their mistakes or learn from their successes so that I could also implement that into my own strategy as far as how I decide that I was going to run things in my own home and also in other homes that I purchase. Okay. Now I'll admit some of the things that I read in books, some of the things that I was taught in class, some of the things that other people shared with me, it didn't always resonate in. Sometimes it was good advice, but for whatever reason, there was something in me that didn't believe what they were saying or didn't take it seriously enough. And I did fall down, especially when it came to investing in uh, the properties in Georgia. I did not recognize, I, I recognized the red flags, but I didn't want to, how do you say, I didn't want to acknowledge them, if you will. And I paid the price dearly, both emotionally and financially, okay? But see, experience is a great teacher. So I learned some valuable lessons that even some people who have taken classes, courses, and paid $250,000, okay, I've learned lessons from my mistakes that they were not, they've not been taught in class. You understand there are people who have bought my book and the, which is for those of you who don't know the perils of real estate scam alert, and they've never come across some of the things that I actually experienced. And because of that, They've gone through their leases as well as I have, of course, gone through my leases and, you know, just added certain things onto it to make sure or to ensure that what happened in the past does not get repeated. I improved my communication skills or basically how I communicate because now I try to make it everything in writing. I don't want to hear anything because a lot of times people will backtrack and change their mind and say, oh, or they'll lie and say, they never said that to you. But when it's in writing, you know, things like that, that's what I've learned. I'm also learning to trust my instinct to go with my gut a little bit more and to trust God a little bit more, because after all, he is able to help you when you fall. And as Les Brown once said, when you fall, make sure you fall on your back, because if you can look up, 
you can get up. Okay. And the thing too, that you have to realize is that, especially when it comes to real estate, a lot of things are in the numbers. Yes, I've lost money, but I've also made money on those same properties that I lost money in. See, when you do the numbers right, when you buy the property correctly from the beginning, you can buy it so that you can make or other people can make a whole bunch of mistakes a number of times and still in the end, you come up smelling like a rose or you come up being profitable based on the strategy that you use and you don't have to be stuck in one. You can also maneuver to another one. Again, it comes down to who's on your team. Again, it comes down to your own knowledge. Okay. So, you know, fear is something that is understandable. It's, you know, you're going to have that in business. You're going to have that in real estate. Even if you're not an investor, just being a regular homeowner, when you get screwed by a contractor, it can be scary. You may say, well, you know what? I don't want to trust another home, uh, contractor again. I'm going to try and learn how to do things on my own. But you'll soon learn that that is not going to be the best way to do things either. Because especially if you have a job or you have another business to take care of, some of those projects that need to get done can be very time consuming. So you, unfortunately, you're going to have to step out on faith and trust another contractor. Pray and hope he doesn't screw you. You know, try and get somebody who, of course, has good recommendations, licensed, bonded, the whole nine yards. I'll, you know, I, I basically th go through many of those things in my book as well. And I'm going to tell you something else. As, as many of you probably, I've already expressed it. I've always detested public speaking. It was not my forte at all but one of the reasons why i i've decided to do it um there were many people that said in order to get your message out in order for you in order for people to know uh that you are knowledgeable about a sub certain subject especially in today's world you have to do video you have to do Facebook lives, you, you know, a podcast or what have you, your voice is important and it matters. So, you know, I listened to that over and over and I realized that that definitely is important. Now, yes, it was more or so practice, get into the practice of public speaking to promote the book. But now that I've seen that lives are being changed, that people are actually getting property, it actually does make me feel good. And I really don't like to see people struggling. I don't like to see people out there, um, you know, having problems, finding houses, getting thrown out of houses unnecessarily. So, and I have to un triple underscore unnecessarily. Um, so I said, you know what? This is a good venue for me to get my voice out, for, for people to get the education, because I'm not seeing too many other channels on YouTube, not too many other podcasts speaking about the things that I'm sharing with you. And I'm glad to see that many people have used, have taken my advice and have gotten housing due to that. And if I remain quiet, you know, then many people, who knows what would have happened. So I'm glad that I'm a, a somewhat of a change in, in the course of some people's lives in that instance. I know that many people have said you need to do consulting. I'll get into that later. I actually took a course, so it'll be sooner than later, of course, but yeah, I, I just need to get a feel as far as 
what it is that people want me to consult them with when it comes to housing because there's like so many different topics that I can go into without even talking to somebody else who has more knowledge than I do, if you will, um, that I, I just would need somebody to be more specific with it. And to be honest with you, there is a little fear of me getting into the consulting business as well. But since several people have mentioned it, I see that there's definitely a need for it. So it's definitely an avenue that I'm going to take, I'm going to consider. So guys, as you can see, just in life in general, there are times when you are going to be afraid. Don't let it stop you. Feel the fear and do it anyway. It's the only way to conquer it or to get whatever information that you may need to go to the next level that you want to go to. You know, what you can do is, you know, give yourself some time, tell yourself some affirmations, keep on informing yourself, educating yourself, and eventually you may not necessarily overcome the fear, but you'll definitely be able to move ahead. So folks, that's all I have for you tonight. Hopefully this information will inspire you to make smart financial moves. Feel free to pass this along. Remember, each one, reach one, teach one. Bye for now. Until next time, have a good night.